A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a notable development for investors, Burtek Acquisition Corporation, NASDAQ, BRKH, has witnessed a significant decrease in short interest during the month of September, signaling potential shifts in market sentiment. As of September 15, short interest totaled 4,800 shares, marking a 9.4% decline from the 5,300 shares reported at the end of August. This reduction in short interest suggests that investors may be feeling more optimistic about the company's prospects, particularly given the average daily trading volume of 20,400 shares, resulting in a days-to-cover ratio of just 0.2 days. Currently, only 0.1% of Burtek's stock is sold short, indicating a lack of bearish sentiment among traders. On Tuesday, Burtek Acquisition's stock price remained stable at $11.28 during midday trading, with a modest trading volume of 782 shares compared to its average of 13,320 shares. The stock has fluctuated over the past year, reaching a low of $10.53 and a high of $11.31. The company's 50-day moving average stands at $11.23, while the 200-day moving average is slightly lower at $11.14. Institutional investors have been active in adjusting their positions in Burtek. Berkeley WR Corp notably increased its holdings by an impressive 110.1% in the fourth quarter, now owning 522,205 shares valued at approximately $5,603,000 after acquiring an additional 273,630 shares. K2 Principal Fund LP also made a move by purchasing a new position in Burtek worth $2,709,000 during the same quarter. Furthermore, Clear Street LLC raised its stake by 141.8% in the second quarter, now holding 3,206 shares valued at $36,000. With institutional investors and hedge funds holding a staggering 97.12% of the stock, Burtek Acquisition Corporation appears to be a focal point for larger financial entities. However, it is important to note that the company currently lacks significant operations and is primarily focused on pursuing mergers, capital stock exchanges, and asset acquisitions. In another development, Appalomics Incorporated, NASDAQ, APLM, also experienced a decrease in short interest in September. As of September 15, short interest totaled 523,200 shares, reflecting a 6.7% reduction from the previous month's total of 561,000 shares. With an average trading volume of 3,940,000 shares, the days-to-cover ratio stands at a mere 0.1 days, indicating that only 0.8% of the company's shares are sold short. Powell Investment Advisors LLC recently made headlines by purchasing a new stake in Appalomics during the first quarter, acquiring 130,297 shares valued at approximately $98,000. At the end of the most recent quarter, Powell Investment Advisors owned 0.15% of Appalomics. The stock opened at $0.14 cents on Tuesday, with a 50-day moving average of $0.15 cents and a 200-day moving average of $0.29. Cents. Appalomics has seen its share prices fluctuate significantly over the past year, with a low of $0.11 cents and a high of $3.71. This clinical-stage biopharmaceutical company is dedicated to the discovery and development of oncology therapies, aiming to harness the immune system to target specific molecular pathways for cancer eradication. Notable products in its portfolio include Vebrotinib APL-101, currently in Phase two trials for non-small cell lung cancer, APL-102 and APL-122, both targeting various cancers. Similarly, Blockchain Co-Investors Acquisition Corporation, I, NASDAQ, BCSA, has also seen a decline in short interest during September. As of September 15, short interest totaled 4,900 shares, down 7.5% from the August 31st total of 5,300 shares. Approximately 0.3% of the shares are currently short sold, with a short interest ratio of 0.8 days, based on an average trading volume of 6,500 shares. Shares of BCSA opened at $11.46 on Tuesday, with a 12-month low of $10.70 and a high of $11.88. The company has been actively involved in institutional trading, 
with Corey LP acquiring a new position worth $833,000 in the second quarter. Clear Street LLC also increased its holdings by 69.2%, now owning 54,999 shares valued at $615,000. Berkeley WR Corp raised its stake by 142.4% in the first quarter, holding 297,222 shares valued at $3,296,000. Institutional investors and hedge funds currently own 14.47% of Blockchain Co-Investors Acquisition Corporation I. Lastly, Cogna Educaco SA, OTCMKTS, Cogni, has reported a significant drop in short interest for September. As of September 15, short interest totaled 41,100 shares, down 7% from the previous month's total of 44,200 shares. With an average daily volume of 6,100 shares, the days-to-cover ratio stands at 6.7 days. Cogna Educaco opened at 26 cents on Tuesday, with a 50-day moving average of 28 cents and a 200-day moving average of 38 cents. The stock has fluctuated between a one-year low of 25 cents and a high of 70 cents. These developments across multiple companies highlight a trend of decreasing short interest which may indicate a shift in investor sentiment and market dynamics. Investors are encouraged to stay informed and consider these trends as they navigate their investment strategies. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.